Now let's go ahead and start with the camera. The camera interface is compatible with both OV2640 and OV7725 cameras. Enable AXP313A power output when using a camera. This is the pin list for using the DVP camera interface. This is the OV2640 camera module that I'm going to use with a 5B22 ESP32S3 board. On the big side of the FPC flexible printed cable, you can see the pin numbering starts from the right side. And on the 5B board, you can see this white dot next to the camera port, which indicates that this is the pin number one. So while connecting the camera, make sure pin number one on the FPC is towards the dot side. So the camera is connected and next we are going to add library in the Arduino IDE. So while your Arduino IDE is open, go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the add.zip library. Browse to the location and select this library. You can download this library from the article available on electronicclinic.com. You can see I have already added this library. This is the program that you will need for the live video streaming. You can download this code and all these other files from our website electronicclinic.com. I have added a link in the description. Anyway, when you have this code opened up in your Arduino IDE, scroll down and make sure you change these Wi-Fi credentials. Before you upload the program, make sure you select the correct version of the 5 Beetle board that is DF Robot 5 Beetle 2 ESP32 S3. And make sure these values on your side matches with mine. I already explained it in the LED blinking example. So if you have skipped that part, then I highly recommend you should watch that part of the video because these settings are necessary before you upload the program. Finally, select the communication port and then you can click on the upload button. After uploading the program, unplug your ESP32 5 beetle board and plug it again. Then open the serial monitor. Copy this URL link and paste it into the web browser. You should be able to see these settings, so simply scroll down and click the Start Stream button. The live video streaming will start in no time. Now you can play around with these different parameters. You can also do live video streaming on your cell phone. Thank you. 